On October 7, Governor Gavin Newsom signed the California Food Safety Act, also known as AB 418, into law. This historic legislation prohibits the manufacturing, selling, delivering, distributing, holding, or offering for sale of food products containing four additives currently present in approximately 12,000 candies, cereals, and sodas. Initially, the bill had raised concerns in the spring of 2023, potentially affecting products like Skittles. However, the final version of the bill excludes titanium dioxide, the chemical responsible for the colorful appearance of Skittles. Nonetheless, this ban will impact a wide range of products, including Peeps, most commercially produced red velvet cupcakes, and more. This legal prohibition establishes California as the first state in the US to enforce such a ban. The European Union had previously banned the four additives in question, red dye 3, propalaben, brominated vegetable oil, and potassium bromate. The bill received co-sponsorship from Consumer Reports and was passed with strong bipartisan support, according to Brian Ronholm, the nonprofit's director of food policy. The actual implications of this ban for common pantry staples like cookies and juices in the United States depend on how companies choose to respond. The law grants manufacturers until 2027 to adjust their recipes to comply with the ban on additives, all of which have been associated with carcinogenic, neurotoxic or endocrine and reproductive damage, as indicated in a petition filed by 24 groups and scientists. These additives are commonly found in various products. For instance, propylparaben can be found in many popular trail mix brands, and potassium bromate is present in some tortilla brands. Despite the Food and Drug Administration of date having approved these substances for years, the Environmental Working Group points out that their safety hasn't been reviewed in decades, or in some cases not at all. James Coughlin, a food expert from UK Vavis, argued that banning these chemicals is unnecessary and unscientific. On the other hand, the National Confectioners Association expressed concerns that this new law might confuse consumers and undermine confidence in the industry. However, Assemblyman Jesse Gabriel stated that these ingredients are non-essential and the government's aim is to encourage companies to adjust their recipes.